All right, I wanted to do a quick video of EV6 versus Ionic 5 and why I made the choice I did to pick up this EV6 over the Ionic 5 and some of the things that I took into consideration. Now, as you look at the vehicle itself, um, basically you're looking at the stylish sports car versus the unique design that the Ionic 5 provided. For me, as I looked at the vehicle and I looked at it across the board, a couple of things really stood out to me. The Ionic 5 reminded me of, oh, let's say the Chrysler PT Cruiser. When it was really popular, everybody thought it was really cool, but it quickly outgrew its design. Another good one is Nissan Cube or the Chevy SS R, you know, the pickup truck that looks kind of like an Eldorado. Um, there's a lot of those that went really funky and then after a couple years it just weighed in on the people that bought them and they lost the attractiveness to it. It's a little bit more again sporty versus um, the unique look. Now a couple of things to keep in mind. The Ionic 5 actually has got more space. Headroom inside um, and rear cargo space. So if space is an issue for you, that's a, that may be a consideration for you to take into consideration. Um, but I will tell you that I'm a six foot one individual. I fit in this vehicle, no problem. Um, I know a lot of people say, well, they are, their head hits the ceiling. Um, I'm not, I don't have that issue. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm average build. Um, so I don't have some of those same issues. I do want to point out a couple of things about the vehicle though that I think it's important to know. So um, as far as the glass roof, now Ionic 5 has got a glass roof with a shade. Shade is really important for two different reasons. Those that drive a um, Tesla will know that it gets really hot in a vehicle and people will say, well, I'll just turn on the AC. That's not a problem. The, uh, the units will cover themselves pretty easily. Well you're using energy. So that's a factor to keep in mind. If you're going to use, if you're gonna go with the Ionic 5, the roof does not open up. Whereas the EV6, the roof does open up. So you can make that decision too. So across the board, you can make that decision on whether you want to use some of that cooling power with the roof opening up and ventilation, or you wanna go do something different with regards to that. The back fin, does actually, believe it or not, keep the rain off when you're driving and some of the um, grime from that perspective. Now, I will tell you, um, it's only been a thousand miles that I've driven this vehicle. I've yet to go through winter. Uh, that is suspect, but I, but I drove and still have the Prius Prime, does not have a rear wiper, and it keeps the back windshield pretty well clean. And that's a huge back window on that vehicle as well. A um, couple of other factors to keep in mind. Uh, the only exterior light in the vehicle is right underneath this buttress here, which shines on there. And it does light up the outside pretty well, but I would tell you that's something to keep in mind that across the board, not a lot of exterior room. Now, the one plus with this vehicle that the that's different than the Ionic 5, when you get in the vehicle, there is a lot of ambient lighting. So I will try to show you right there you're going to see ambient lighting everywhere in this car and i thought it's very well done in comparison to the ionic 5. the ambient lighting is subtle but classy which is kind of nice ionic 5 one thing that the ionic 5 does with the seats it has got the recliner so it's almost like a um you can put up your feet when you're charging now <laughs> with these cars with the 800 volt architecture, you're not charging it that long. So I'm not sure if that's something I would ever really use anyways. The other factor is actually on the interior for me, which made my decision a little bit easier to go towards uh, the vehicle is I like the black interior and the larger screen, dual screens going across the back. That one is actually probably a better look than the Ionic 5 with the white screen. Now, a lot of people are putting um, little 
plastic uh, vinyl over it to try to cover that up. But I think it's just a cleaner look when you look at the interior of the EV6 as you go through. The other is the center um, area right there. With the Ionic 5, it pulls back um, and you have a push button by the steering column. This is everything's right on the front here. Now, a lot of people will complain that the capacitive touch, you sometimes accidentally return on things. I've discovered I actually don't because I don't put my hand up there that often. So it's really not that bad at all. And then the unique design with their um, interchangeable display for uh, ventilation or radio controls. What I have done is I've set it to default to the radio controls. Um, and then when I want ventilation, because once you set the temperature and I keep it on auto, I really am not going back to it. So to me, I'm, I know a lot of people say, well, they don't like it flipping back and forth. My response is I set the temperature and let it go. So that's not a factor for me. Um, again, from a style and look perspective, way nicer in my opinion. Uh, well, let me clarify, a way more durable in style than the Ionic 5. Those are some things to consider. Last but not least is range. This vehicle has got a little bit higher range than the Ionic 5, and that could predominantly be because of its aerodynamics. So that's something to keep in mind too, as you consider your selection. So let's look at the interior as we kind of go through this again. So as you can see, remember the ambient lighting that I talked about, you can see it throughout the vehicle. Um, it is very well done across the board. Um, the AC and volume controls for the radio. So remember I said you can toggle back and forth. So if I press that, you can control. Now you got ventilation. Now I've got a default, so it switches back by itself, as you see right there. Um, because once you set the temperature, as I mentioned, I'm not going back and changing it. Now. What's nice is I've got front defrost and rear. It's there if I want it quickly to defrost the windows, but I don't need to switch it back and forth. Um, so to me, everything else is right there. You can program your unique buttons like the star right here. When you press that for me, it'll go ahead and tell you more vehicle information from that perspective. And then the one I've programmed on the steering wheel, it's a turn right now, but I'll press that one. And that one, I've got it to default back into, oops, sorry about the focus, back into the maps. So again, that's an attractive um, a feature. I actually like the way this looks. A lot of people complain that they brush their hands over here and they'll activate the capacitive touch. I have not had those same issues. Um, I don't really leave my hand up here. Um, once it's there, once I've hit it, it's fine. Um, but you know, like I said, I don't have those similar issues. From a headroom perspective, I'm gonna give you a quick visual. From a, again, from a headroom perspective, uh, I'm six foot one. You can see there's a little bit of room right here. Now, if I go all the way over here, I'm pretty close to the edge of the door if I'm sitting with my head against the glass. But over here, I've, I've got a little bit of room here um, and I'm wearing a hat. So, a lot of folks saying, well, you don't have as much headroom. That is true in comparison to, again, the Ionic 5. However, if you're six foot one and I've got my seat all the way down, recline back a little bit, I'm actually pretty good across the board. Um, the seating comfort is really good. I also love the unique coloring within the seats um, that they've done, the stitching, the, the kind of the faux um, leather that they've got going along with the dual color accents. I think it's actually done pretty well. Again, long-term, I think this is a style that will last a lot longer than the Ionic 5 would. And again, so to me, those were the pros. You have to take it for your own and see if that's something you like, um, that's something that you appreciate. I like, now this is, by the way, this is the GT line all wheel drive. So it is 
probably um, more bells and whistles than um, most other cars out there. I do like the roof. I do like the all wheel drive. I do like the ambient lighting. Um, that's why it kind of pushed me towards the GT line uh, versus just getting the wind. The wind is a great value proposition. Um, but again, you just have got to decide on those pieces of it. Now I'm going to try to give you a look at the display, the heads up display. I'm not sure how it's going to show up in the camera. So bear with me. Turn right onto General Electric Road. Turn right onto General Electric Road. So overall, you really can't go wrong whether you choose the Ionic 5 or the EV6. Um, I will say it would have been a harder decision if the Ionic 6 was available, um, but it is a smaller vehicle, so that's a factor for me. Uh, but I like the sporty look. I like the more enduring styling. I like the additional features of the air. I like the center buttress for the controls here. Very well done. Um, I like the overall um, black on black interior with the gray and the highlights. Very well done across the board. So, but your choices.